All right, guys. I don't know about you guys, but in the south, we get wasp really bad during the summer. And since nobody's been living here, they've decided to live here themselves. Since we've got a bunch of people coming over, I'm going to try to uh, climb up there while they can't see and uh, spray them out. And it's not going to kill them all, but I'm just going to try to knock out. Uh, I'll try to take you guys up there with me and show you what's going on. I've been moseying around this house since before Jeff bought it and I finally found out how to get into the attic. There's a secret room. Look at that. Jeff, if there's silver coins in here, I'm keeping them, dude. Sorry to tell you. Alright guys, I'm going in. Oh my god. Okay, so the fellow that lived here, he's been up in here. There's a, old, there's a tote right there. I can't tell if there's anything in it. And there's a tote way back yonder. But now we can access this AC duct and make sure nothing's leaking. That'd be cool. And all the roof supports look good. We need to do a little bit of work on the roof, and this is going to make it so much easier. Well, that was fun, but unfortunately, that's not why we're here. This is wasp wars, remember? Let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Look at all of them back there. There's a freaking ton of them, dude. There's like four nests back there, and they're all completely full. But right now, they can't do much. So I'm going to spray the hell out of them and hope they don't fly at me. Okay. They're right here. Okay. Very good. Alright guys, I've showed you all my little gnome before. I even told you the story how I got it. Uh, some people were demoing a house and I went to try to get work. I was trying to help them and uh, maybe make some money. And uh, they didn't need any help. But he said I could, whenever I was leaving, I seen this little mushroom guy. And I asked him if I could have it and he said yeah. So I took it. But... It's in pretty poor shape. The paint's all coming off. This used to all be red. I mean, it's been sitting here for three years, not including how long I had it in Texas, so. Today's the day. I'm gonna take this thing inside and I'm gonna paint it all up, get it really cleaned up and looking nice again. And then I'm gonna take it to somebody else. Um, at Simple Life Reclaimed and Country Road Cure out at their property, they have this big gnome trail and they got a bunch of gnomes and stuff sitting up and I love this thing to death but it deserves to be at 41.36 with the rest of the gnomes so alright now that we're inside you can see a little better the paint's just all chipped up on him and he's an old man he needs to freshen up mostly the top's just worn off it's a bird bath so it holds water and that's just eating up all the paint. Alright, we got this thing cleaning up pretty good. Some of the red's still on there pretty good. We just roughed it up so it'll take paint. And, uh, this part and this part actually come apart. We left them on there for rigidity, but now I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take it outside, get it washed, let it set and dry. So we can start painting it and we'll start cleaning this one up. Just gonna let this thing sit, drain off. Shouldn't take long in this heat. I'm gonna just go over it really easy, make sure nothing's gonna flake off, but I'm not gonna try to get all the paint off. All 
All right, time to wash this guy up. All right, got my little dude sitting up here on the truck in the sun. He ought to dry out pretty quick. The bottom of this, I want it to stay white, so I'm gonna tape it off all the way around. I'm actually gonna spray paint this top, and then everything else will be painted with acrylic. All right, just cut out a piece of paper and just put that over there. Now I gotta tape the line all the way around. All right, so I got this all taped up. Uh, it's hanging over the ridge in a couple spots. I'm just gonna take my pocket knife and cut it off. All right, guys, I just got it sitting here on a box. And I'm gonna spray the bottom side first and I'm gonna let it dry for a couple minutes, flip it over and spray the top. The trick to painting with spray paint is just don't cover the whole thing right away. Just get a little bit of paint on there, let it dry, and then come back and paint on it some more. Alright, so you can see quite a bit of paint come off once we did some sanding on it. But all that was loose paint that needed to come off. Uh, since this is so distressed, I'm going to go ahead and tape the this guy off, tape off the bottom, and we'll spray paint this as well. All right, we got our little gnome dude taped off. We're gonna go spray all the stem of the mushroom white. It's perfectly too, thank goodness. So this thing turned out really nice. We'll go ahead and get all the tape stripped off of it. Okay, so I want to modify it a little bit so that it's not original. Um, I wanted to paint this green, but I don't have green, which means these also can't be green. Uh, we're gonna have to just do what we can. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Red for the hat, blue for the shirt, red for the pants, black shoes, gray down here. We'll do the flowers pink, and then the leaves will have to do a light blue because we don't have a green. Oh, I just got blue in the red again. <laughs> Purple. That hat's looking pretty good now, huh? Mm-hmm. You better not get my white ear. Gotta throw another layer on this guy. Sleepy gnome, got new flowers. It's supposed to be grass down there, but they had it painted like a stone, so we painted it like a stone. We didn't have any green. Looks good. 
Boom. Okay, last but not least, we gotta paint the white for the mushroom cap. That was a lot of fun. Absolutely loved it. I uh, messaged Simple Life. They didn't get back a hold of me yet. So we'll take it another day, but super stoked to have it cleaned up. Uh, we're going to do a quick before after. So here's the before. And here's the finished product. All right, guys, you know I just planted a little garden this year, a couple plants. Um, they're looking a little homely right now. It's been hot. We haven't had any rain, so I need to get out here and water them. But I've got a couple little fruits, so I'm going to pick them. This one's a sweet pepper. This one is a... California Wonder Bell. Nice little pepper. And then they got a couple of uh, little cherry tomatoes over here. I'm gonna give them some water, but I'm gonna wait till the sun's directly off of them. A little harvest, anyway. A little harvest from a little garden. Hello. Brought you something. Look at this. Those are from the Riddell family. It oh, is yeah. a thornless blackberry. All right, thornless is the way to go. Heck yeah, probably should get them watered because I didn't water them last night. All right. All right, guys, just been struggling without an AC. We charged the AC, but the bearings were bad in the blower motor, so I literally have a couple of minutes, but I'm gonna just whip it in real fast, so I'll show you guys when it's done. There's the hole where it goes. Here's the part, comes without the blower wheel. We took the old blower wheel off. And get this on there and get her plugged in. It's a blowing anyway. Yeah. Getting cold. Yeah, it's kicking on and off still. So we'll have to add some more Freon, but we will. All right, this compressor is still kind of kicking in and out. I needed to add some more. This can's almost empty now. Should be blowing cold. Jeff's been uh, complaining about his power steering, keeps running out. I showed him how to refill it and everything. He's just kept it topped off and we've just been kind of putting it off until I had time to deal with it. But we're gonna take a look right now and see what it is that's uh, causing us some issues. All right, turn the wheel left and right. All right. Okay. Heck yeah, dude, that looks nice. It matches everything else. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. Oh, oh, this guy right here. Take four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you got some honey. Oh, nice thing. A gnome! I thought you guys a gift. Yeah, the bird did. Yeah? Yeah. Look how perfect that fits in right Heck there. Heck yeah. Dude, it was like meant to be there. <laughs> it says 41.36, dude. What's up, Nomi? <laughs> Nomi. Got it? It was so perfect, man. I oh. love it. I don't know. Thank oh, you, yeah. dude. You're very welcome. I told you guys he belonged here. There's a dog in Jeff's house. There's also a Sean in Jeff's house. Huh? Yeah, thank you for moving the Jeep hat. Oh, get out of here, bro. All right, guys, we are uh, over at Jeff's. We're about to tear in the plumbing. 
Uh, I love you guys, but I really need to work, so I'm going to put down the camera tonight. If you want to watch, it'll be at Jeff's channel, and it'll be at In the Woods Homestead. So they're going to do some filming tonight. I'm going to put the camera down and just work. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'll see you everybody, though. Can't wear these after all. The puppy's like, I got you, bro. He's like, I help. <laughs> oh, he's got it. He got it. I told him he had to go higher. It was, it was the puppy power. <laughs> yeah, that, that top button's gonna have to go. <laughs> funny. That's cool. All right, we're gonna get into this house, I guess. <laughs> But your butt yeah. looks awesome. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you unbutton those pants while we're under there together, though, that'd get real weird cool. pretty quick. So. Actually, I'll go first. I'll just drag that phone and it back or whatever. You know where we're going. <laughs> what is <it> oh, <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it keeps doing that thing. <laughs> <laughs> left. Huh? Well, they have been the left a little bit around the All right, bro. Here, I'll put your feet. <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> You know how much harder the white pants is making it for them? <laughs> I'm sure. My orange lighter's up underneath there, bro. Oh, no. Hey, some well, of us had to work right inside here. the house and listen to people talking trash about it. Yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the corduroys it's are just corduroy, shedding. Yeah, bro, yeah they, they, don't, they don't hold them like this. Yeah, yeah. Sean's are dirtier, I, I've got to yeah. tell ya. Drew's stronger than I am now, it's all right. He's got them guns. Testing. <laughs> go in there, the car. Here we go, go on. Here it goes. Should we count it down? Wait, if it leaks, it's Sean's fault. That's what's me. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, Sean. Water on. Sean. Yes. <laughs> my, I was looking at how dirty my shit is. Dirty calls for that. Dirty calls. My clothes are getting pretty nice. I think I'm going to start wearing nothing but corduroys. <laughs> Except for when it's 100 degrees outside. No shit. <laughs> you really be starting fires in, dude. <laughs> <laughs>